When do you use a hard and soft edge? And what do they do in the painting? Oh. <clears throat> well, edges, of course, occur naturally uh, in sequence in one's light source, essentially. Uh, and edges, there are soft edges and hard edges. And soft edges imply continuousness. In other words, the softness uh, goes on and on and on till it stops. And it stops because the form stops. So light washing over a form starts light, the light gets darker and darkens until it becomes shadow and <clears throat> the shadow ends where the form ends because a new form is starting. So, so edges naturally alternate from soft to hard to soft to hard as light washes over form. And that's just a fact of the physics of light. A, a painter, <clears throat> how soft an edge is, is really at a certain point becomes an aesthetic problem rather than a structural problem. But so it, how soft an edge is and how long it, the continuousness of it is, uh, well, as I say, it occurs in nature, it's really uh, at a certain point, the, it becomes an aesthetic problem for the painter to decide. <clears throat> but, but edges always alternate. And because form alternates, and <clears throat> form doesn't necessarily have, or the sequence of edge doesn't have to end in a shadow, it could just end in a dark or light. It depends on the depth of the form, whether the ending is a shadow or the ending is just a darker light. <clears throat> but the other aspect of edges is that it also controls your value. And in some sense, it also controls uh, the color in the painting, uh, the longer the softness, which is getting back to what I was saying about the aesthetics of painting, the longer the painter uses a softer edge, in other words, the form turning more gradually, the darker the value of the light becomes, the quicker the turn of the, of the soft part of the edge, the brighter the value and or the color appears. So edges really is or are what I've said in my first book that artist teaches the soul of the painting because as I've tried to explain verbally that it controls your value and it also controls color. Uh, when you're speaking of value or color, it, part of it has to do with edges. So edges infiltrate themselves into all aspects of painting, which is why, I, as I said, I call them understanding edges, the soul of the painting. Why does it control the values, though? Don't... What? How does it control the values? Well, uh, if you can imagine light starting on a form. Yeah. And the light's traveling across the form. The flatter you can keep that light, the more impact visually it will have. Which means that you have a smaller area of turn, a softer, a faster turn 
of the softness of the edge. Okay. So you have the light traveling, let's say, two inches across a form before it starts to darken. Yeah. And then become shadow. Now, if you want to make that value of light darker, instead of the light, the soft edge starting two inches from the beginning, it starts an inch and a half from the beginning before it starts to get darker. You see, you have less impact. So you've changed the value by just increasing the softness, softer area of turn before it becomes shadow or whatever. That's and so interesting. That's, yeah, I never thought of it like that. Yeah. <clears throat> and also, of course, the same would be, hold true of the color of an area. The flatter the color is, the stronger it is. But if you have the soft edge starting quicker, the color dulls out that much quicker. Interesting. Yeah. So you can see how important understanding and playing with edges uh, are as part of the painter's aesthetic tool or okay. technique. Interesting. Um, okay, yeah. thanks David. <laughs>